With the start of 2023, it's time to look back at the fantastic games we tried in 2022. One that stands head and shoulders above the rest for me is Flat Out's game Cascadia. Stick around and I'll go over five things I love and one thing I don't about my best pick of 2022. Before we start into it, I'm fully aware that Cascadia was actually released in 2021. Oh. Because A, I discovered this game in 22, and B, on its Board Game Geek webpage, it's earned numerous board game awards for 2022. I have no guilt about including this on my 2022 list. So let's get down to business. What about Cascadia has earned its top pick for me? Well, I think you have to start with its excellent accessibility. The game has rules that are quick and easy to learn a very friendly and easy to use rulebook, and I think its simplicity of rules and game mechanic are what make this game so elegant and appealing. This game can be unwrapped and on the table with a game played by a brand new player who just picked it up in probably less than two hours. Another aspect of this game that I completely appreciate is how kid-friendly it is. To test this theory out, just today, I asked my five-year-old, who hadn't played it in about four months, if she remembered Cascadia and what it was about. She asked me if that was the one with the tiles, the foxes, and the deer, and the salmon. I'd say she passed the test. My older children gave me varying answers of complexity, but all of which told me that they either A, loved it, and B, would certainly sit down to play it any time. The relaxed and thematically appealing nature of this game can't be overlooked. Pun intended. Haha. <laughs> that said, the various habitats, the animals included, quickly makes one wish for the calmer, quieter, peaceful life. If you find yourself constantly in the middle of the rat race, this game will do its best to get you out of that mindset with its babbling brooks, Roosevelt elk, and soaring red-tailed hawks. Definitely an aspect of the game not to be overlooked. If you're one that loves challenges, then Cascadia has that base well covered. If you flip to pages 12, 13, and 14 of the rules guide, board game designer Randy Flynn has done a masterful job outlining every conceivable challenge you could possibly imagine. Flynn even breaks down achievement into three specific modes, which are scenarios, normal game, or rules restrictions. What I especially love for the more competitive gamer groups is that there are tracks to record achievements for up to five players. This provides yet another layer to this game. If these reasons aren't enough to pick up Cascadia, then I have one more for you. The game mechanic offers hundreds of different game options that do their best to keep this game fresh. With four different scoring cards for each of Elk, Salmon, Bear, Hawk, and Fox, along with a family scoring card as well, this game is not short on end-of-game scoring options. Once you have the specific end-of-game scoring options established, then more puzzling options await you on your specific game board to choose which habitat and animal formations will best find you sitting in the victor's seat. So great. If I had to make a complaint about this game, I might point out that it can be a game where you focus a little bit too much on your own specific habitat and animal formations. It is an easy trap in this game to ignore other players and what they're doing and only worry about what you're building on your specific board. I think this can sometimes have a group of players all individually playing at the table and not really interacting with each other as much as they are interacting with their own particular board. That said, I think the exceptional Cascadia players need to be very aware of what others around them are doing and where they are going in order to ensure they block best plays and grab tiles that may be crucial to their opponents, even if it only is a marginal help to their own board. Cascadia in 2022 was a top to bottom winner for me. If these reasons appeal to you, then Cascadia may be something you'd enjoy with your group as well. Thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics.